The reason this, this uh, forgiveness is actually uh, very close to my heart, uh, this idea of forgiveness, uh, because there was a, a long stretch of time where I had to wrestle uh, with unforgiveness of, of my own. Uh, I am not good at this naturally or at all by, by any means. Um, so I grew up in, in a place, in a church, um, that um, I spent the first 17 years of my life there and loved it. All of my friendships, relationships, everybody that trusted I knew was a part of that church. And uh, we came to the unfortunate understanding at one point that one of the leaders was hurting people. Um, and it was brought to our attention. And that was interesting in and of itself because it was somebody that we loved and respected. And yet we saw them hurting people that we loved and respected. It was just a really weird uh, you don't know what to think about that. You're angry, you're hurt, you're in pain, uh, but you love these people. It, it, it was very strange. Um, but, but then we, this information, we brought this to some of the other leaders of the church, my family and a, and a few others. And, and quite honestly, the information was completely ignored. Not only that, a bunch of lies were told about my family uh, to try to discredit the information that was brought up against it. We also brought it to the authorities and unfortunately nothing could be done at that point in time. Um, and we were lied about and uh, said terrible things to you about myself and our family. Um, and unfortunately, we, we left the church. And in a matter of a couple days, almost two decades of relationships were immediately cut off. That hurt. And I remember thinking, I was consumed by anger in this moment. I remember thinking one day, one day they'll know. They'll know I was right. They'll know I was right and they're gonna come crawling back to me and they're gonna be begging for my forgiveness. A few years ago, this individual was arrested. Uh, more things came to light and they were arrested and everything kind of came to light finally. And I'll be honest when I tell you that not a single individual came to our family and apologized. That was hard. It was really hard. I remember uh, I had a lot of people who were influencing uh, my life and speaking into my life at that point in time. Um, and I was consumed by anger at anything. I'd be playing basketball and somebody would, you know, bump into me and I would flip off the lid. And I was so angry. Everything was consumed by this bitterness. I, my relationships were crumbling apart almost unanimously. And I remember that through the insight and the wisdom of people around me, and I do feel like it was a whispering of God's spirit, uh, I remember him telling me that if you wait for the day that they apologize, you will spend your entire life locked in a cell of bitterness. And can I tell you this right now? If you are waiting for somebody to apologize to you before you can find freedom and healing in your heart, you may be waiting for the rest of your life. God's forgiveness is not about who deserves it. It's about finding healing. And from that point in time, again, through incredible encouragement uh, from some of my friends and mentors at that time, I began a process and a journey of finding healing through prayer. And I'm not exaggerating when I tell you this, that it took years. This was years and years and years of asking God for the strength to forgive, the strength to heal, the strength to let these things go, to allow him to deal with it the way that he wants to. And over time, God began to heal my heart. And I'll be honest with you, there are days sometimes still randomly where I'll see an individual or I will see something that comes up and it triggers all kinds of emotions. And again, today still, I have to engage back with prayer and God again and again and again to find that healing because I'm holding on to that I think they deserve. I think that this will hurt them more. So I'm going to hold on to this, whether it's good for me or not. Prayer is the means in which we can wrestle with God to find forgiveness. And here's my encouragement uh, for you. This could be something small. We can allow very small things sometimes to, to fill bitterness inside of us. It could be something big. But my encouragement for you is to bring to mind, as painful as it is, that this week and the coming months, to bring to mind the people who have hurt you that you are holding on to this bitterness with, and I encourage you 
to begin a process of prayer with God. This won't happen immediately. It won't happen every single day, but this is a process. And I promise you that, that Jesus is faithful to heal. He is faithful to heal. Do not be consumed by your business. It will limit what God can do in your life. It will limit the things that will change inside of you. It will limit the things that will change around you. It will consume you. My encouragement is to engage with a process of prayer. God, help me forgive today. Help me to give this back to you. Today, I'm choosing to forgive again. Finally, last thing. I know it's true. Say, I don't know if I can forgive and I don't know if I could even be forgiven for the things that I've done. That's a whole nother uh, uh, realm of hurt. <laughs> To feel like I don't feel like forgiveness is for me because of the things that I have done, said, thought, whatever. Um, and can I tell you this, that Jesus is faithful to forgive. And the first step, the first step in a relationship with Jesus is a process of forgiveness. So if that's you today and, and you're saying, hey, I, I, I don't even know if I'm able to forgive. I want you to know, or if you don't know if you're able to be forgiven, I want you to know that, that Jesus is faithful to forgive. His son paid it all on the cross. And there is resurrection life in him. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to be good enough. You don't have to fix your way. All you have to do is say, Jesus, I trust in that. I trust in you. And I'm giving my faith and my heart to you. And he's faithful to forgive. And from that point, we begin the process of our forgiveness towards others. So is it possible to forgive them? I believe it is. I've seen it in my own life. I believe it can be true for you too. Not because of me, not because I'm good enough. Lord knows that I put up every fight along the way, but it's because God's grace is just that good. Hey, thank you so much for watching and joining us today. If this helped you and you would like more of this type of content, please hit the subscribe button. Our hope and our goal is to help you enrich your faith journey. Thank you for joining us.